Some people in your family will travel miles to bury you, but won't cross the street to support you when you are alive. So guys, on a serious note, how many people are struggling to have relationships with their cousins, their uncles, their aunt? You know, I know it's a conversation that we don't want to have, but I love to deal with those issues that you're running away from. Because let me tell you, that's where our freedom and our success and our peace and our growth and our sanity lies. So we need to make sure that we deal with those issues. So just walk with me as I help you to find ways to heal. All right, this is a painful, painful statement, but don't worry, we're going to have solutions to all of them, all right? Uh, but I want you to know that family is important. There's one thing that people don't know, especially our African communities, is that where there is unity, there is a blessing. It's a principle. When you're united, the blessings chases you. It is what it is. That's what God wants. If we ever pursue anything in family, it's to pursue unity. There's one thing that I've seen most of our families are very good at, is spending time on telling people wrong stuff, on gossiping, on lying, on being manipulative, in whichever way or whichever form. But these are the ills that are ruining our lives. Because we don't really understand that we need each other. All right, I may have a child today, for example. All right, and I'm teaching my child wrong. I'm teaching my children and telling him how bad his cousin are, or how bad his nephew, whatever the case may be. This is an example. What I do not realize, maybe his purpose is attached to the cousin, and this is as per the will of God, not for my own ambitions or my own desires, but the will of God. So it means when I'm telling him, him wrong things about his cousin, I'm literally extinguishing his destiny. That's what I'm doing. And most people are doing it in family. So they spend time teaching their children wrong things, accusing people of things that are not true. No, your cousin is bad. All oh, they are witches. All oh, they are what and they are what they are. They're saying all manner of things. And you find that children grow up with the spirit of resentment. They are resenting their cousin. And God is like, no, man. I know that your cousin is the one that will take care of you. Maybe I'm going to take your mama earlier. You know what I mean? It's the will of God. But because we don't have understanding of how God operates, we're always spending our time spreading hatred. This is why we are struggling to love our cousins, our nieces, our nephews, our uncles, our aunts. Is we, we need to check our hearts. It has nothing to do with your cousin. It has everything to do with your heart. Let me tell you, I gel with everybody across the sphere of life, in my family, across the board. I have no vendette with anybody. There may be someone who has a vendette with me, but I don't know they have because I don't have a vendette with them, right? I have always spent my time spreading love. I don't spread hatred because I don't have time. There's no hatred around here. It's only love. You know, and this is what we need to, to do is to spend our time captivating love. What is it I can do to make my cousin better? What is it that I can do to make my uncle better? It may not be money. It may not be material, but I can pray for them. But I can believe in them. But I can really tell them how much I love them. I can just send a word of love. We fail to implement strategies that makes us a better people. But most of the times it boils them to our hearts. What is in your heart? I remember someone saying something so ugly to um, another brother. And I said to him, go home and check your heart. Because what you just say says a lot about you than the person you are saying that to. Go back and check your heart. We need each other, boys and girls. We need each other, brothers and sisters. We are one people. And inside our unity in families, that's exactly where our blessing lies. When we bring our children together, when we speak positive, when we speak life, when we tell our children the importance of family and the importance of their cousins, their nephews, and stop spreading hatred, that's exactly where our successful lies. That's where our success lies. Let's work together to restore our dignity in families. But it starts with you by changing your heart. Because you don't want to go to your funeral of your cousin and you're getting there, you're crying, pretending, 
but you never greet your cousin, you have never been in their home, you have never formed them, you have never said I love you, you never share a meal with them. Guys, this place is not our home. Share a meal with your families. Tell them how much you love them. Just send a word. The other thing that I want you to do, be very careful of gossip. Because one of the greatest choker of family success is gossip. One of the rules that I live by is that if you come in my house, you're going to talk about you. You do not talk about anybody. Because I know that if you're talking about someone in my house, it's a matter of time before you walk out of that place and talk about me with someone else. Or even taking what you said, eating whatever you want to eat that feed your agenda, and then say things that I never said. So when you get in my house, you talk about you. I want to hear about you. Good news is what I want to hear. So that when you leave, you don't include me in your conversation that is negative except good news. So I hope this can be of a blessing to you. Cultivate love in your families. Love your cousins. You need them. Some of your destinies are connected to them. So the more you resent them, the more you're extinguishing success in your life, the more you're struggling. You wonder why? Because God is connecting or God wants you to be connected to your cousin. I hope that makes sense to you and it can be a blessing to you. I love you all and God bless you all. Bye.